In this video, we're going to look at how Excitec Docs can help with uploading data to extranet sites. In a previous video, we created a transmittal, this one here, and we can see the details of that transmittal, including who they went to. And by the way, if, you, if I click through on these links here, it will take me to the contact details and their phone number. And if you've got an integrated phone system, you can click on the phone number and it will, it'll dial their, their number for you. Um, we can preview the uh, transmittal if we come down into the details here. So if we've got a PDF here, this is the transmittal we created before. And what we really want to do is to take the contents of this transmittal and upload it. So on the left hand side here, I've got an extranet upload button. I can click that. And the way Excitec Docs works is against each project, you can have multiple extra nets uh, configured. Most people will only have one per project, but the system does allow for multiples. And for each extra net, so in this case, I'm connected to BIM 360, you can see that there, um, I can have multiple places. So I've uh, configured this with two places, a shared folder and a published folder. Again, I can have multiples and they would be a scrolling list down the side here. The transmittal that I clicked on, it was able to identify that it was to do with the Chopin Music School and um, it knows how to connect to BIM 360 for this project. So the credentials of you know who I'm connecting as and what my login details are, they are saved against the project. So all I need to do is pick the upload, decide where I want to go, um, in this case, we were publishing, so we want to go to the publish folder on the extranet. And what of these files do I want to send up? Now, quite often you might uh, create, as we did earlier, uh, DWGs and DWFs, which aren't required to go to the extranet. Somebody else might want them and you're emailing them. So I'd like to filter those out. And what I can say is I don't want the DWFs and DWGs. I don't want the zip either. All that wants to go up to the extranet site are the PDFs, so that's fine. And then I can say submit upload request. What this view is showing me is these are all the previous ones that have been done, and you can see it's it's progressing with the uh, the files that we just asked. So I've got a history here. I'll show you where that is viewed um, normally, and it's working its way through. So it's connected to BIM 360 and up, it's uploading those. If I double click here. I get a link directly through to the extranet site in question, in this case Autodesk's BIM 360, and that will take us through and we'll see the transmittal that we saw earlier. We're just waiting for BIM 360 to catch up. There you are, and if I zoom in on here, um, there we are. Here's, as I say, the transmittal that we saw earlier presented on BIM 360. Let's just tuck that out of the way and come back to here because I wanted to show that for each project, so if I go to my Chopin Music School project, um, what I will also get is an extranet tab. And on that extranet tab is shown, it just needs to update, all the previous uploads. So if at any point I want to find out what have I uploaded to that uh, a particular site or sites, um, for that project. So we can see these were all shared. These ones went into the publish folder. We can see that they're with BIM 360. It might be with one of the other providers. Um, then I can do that. And if you're wondering about what providers are supported, if we go here, here's the configuration. And if I wanted to add a new one, you can see we've got A sites, A BIM 360, Dropbox, Google Drive, and Viewpoint for projects.